Well, fantasy sports fans are one step closer to playing on in Louisiana. On Tuesday, voters in 47 parishes, including all in our viewing area, moved to give paid games the green light. But if you're looking to cash in, you'll have to sit tight, as Capital Correspondent Harrison Golden explains this evening. We're hoping that maybe they'd be able to bet on the first, uh, uh, first game of football season next year. It may be further into the season. Before any Louisianian can pick their players on paid sites like DraftKings and FanDuel, Louisiana's Gaming Control Board must pick the rules. Last Board state. Chairman Ronnie Jones. My staff will look at what the other states have done, and we will steal from them the best uh, rules and, and framework for putting the industry in place. Now, that could take about a year, says Jones, who expects lawmakers this spring to choose on taxing wagers and winnings. Then there's geography. The gaming board must still decide how to block access to the sites in the 17 parishes where the vote to legalize struck out. For that, the board plans to test the same geofencing technology that prevents New Jersey players from logging on in New York. If you're playing on your mobile device driving across a bridge into Manhattan, the green light turns to red and you're taken immediately offline and you're blocked. So the technology, the technology uh, I have a lot of confidence in. All that would be funded not by taxpayers, but by the gaming platforms themselves. And while opponents claim fantasy sports legalization will feed bad habits, supporters say it could lend some structure to a growing field. It's a game of skill. You decide what players you want to draft, what players you want to pick. You look at stadium conditions, weather conditions, um, is that person injured or not. Whether it's sports betting or fantasy sports or casinos or, or video poker, we have to maintain public confidence that public knows we're going to act on their behalf and that things are done with integrity. Now, despite this week's widespread approval of paid fantasy sports, other forms of sports betting remain illegal statewide. Lawmakers are likely to reconsider that in the spring, and we'll, of course, keep you posted on that.